Hey guys, I'm Kristen Strange for Press Pass LA. I'm here at The Voice Final 12 where they've just performed. They're about to walk this red carpet, so we're going to get all of their after show reactions. One word reaction from you guys about tonight's performance. Stellar. Wow. Bliss. Is it bliss because yours was dedicated to your wife? Yeah, it felt so great to honor her and everything we've been through with a beautiful song. I really enjoyed myself, felt real grounded. Felt her in the room, knew where she was, and just kept, you know, throwing it back to her. When you said, I'm going to sing Mine Would Be You for my wife, I was like, I'm going to cry. I just know it. I'm going to cry. It was she such... Like she did. She She's so cute. Yeah. And were you extra nervous because there's Blake sitting right in front of you? Yeah, this is actually the second time I've sung a coach's song on this season. So I sang an Adam Levine song for my blind audition. I'll never be that nervous again in my life. So tonight, I feel like Blake has shown a lot of support. Yeah. I felt like he, you know, he was going to support me. I wasn't doing anything crazy with it, you know what I mean? I felt like I was honoring the original song enough that I wasn't going to you know, piss off country fans too bad. So. No, I mean, he, and he was really responsive to it, so that's an amazing sign. So if you guys could give, take a trait from your fellow team members, what would you take? Um, like from? From these two. Um, from Allie. Uh, she's a... Uh, I, I love to be a caretaker like Allie. Aww. She's definitely a caretaker. That's really sweet. And uh, I'm trying to be a heartthrob like Nick. Yeah. You, you understand? Like, like a, a singing to his wife <laughs> yeah. on stage in front of America. I mean, that's, that that takes guts. Right. Well, I would take sexy, a little bit of sexy from both of them. But I think with Brian, <laughs> he he works, his work ethic is crazy. I mean, he's constantly practicing, you know, and it's not in like a, in any kind of way. It's just, this is him, you know, it's like a, it's a somebody honing in the, on their craft. And the, the guy who's going to sprint the extra mile in the marathon, he's, he's working that hard. I mean, really amazing work ethic. And Nick, I think, you know, Nick just has... There's a lot of people that are like, oh, I'm spiritual, I'm, you know, I'm a, a, a yoga guru, or whatever it is. But Nick really is a spiritual giant. Like, he really does lead from a place of spirituality and trust, and, uh, and he's a beautiful person. So a little bit of all that would be great. Um, well, Ali's such a beautiful soul herself, and when she performs, and this is just a reflection of who she is as a person, she's so open. And that's why people are so drawn in to her as an artist, because you watch her and th there's no walls, there's no limits. It's just so open. And I know that she's explained these feelings of like just losing herself and sort of coming back to reality after these performances. And that's so transcendent. And it's, it's, what, it's what people really latch on to. So I'd love to open up, you know, like Ali. Um, most literally, I would love Brian's beard because I'm still working on that. And I, I'm a few years older than him. And it's just it's beautiful beard, bro. Um, <laughs> And, uh, but I also got to commend him on his work ethic as well. He's, he's really, um, you know, iron sharpens iron. So it's an honor to be on a team with these people. He's the kind of guy who literally turned down pizza tonight because we have to sing a song again later tonight. You know, yeah, and, and, and so, you know, I come from a long history of, of playing in, in bars and stuff like that, not thinking of my craft so seriously. And he's really, you know, show, show me, you know, how seriously we can take this opportunity. Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Good luck next week. That's all for this week at The Voice. For more interviews like this, visit PressPassLA.com.